Hey everyone, welcome to Looking Diecast. This is Pete, and today I've got a great set of Hot Wheels cars from early 2019. This is the Back Road Rally series. This series was originally available only at Walmart, but I picked up the last car that I needed in a Dollar Tree. This set features licensed vehicles and racing decos. The Rally El Segundo is about to get started, and this is going to be one wild ride. here is fantastic. All of the vehicles are on the same stretch of a gravel back road. Mud, dirt, and rocks are flying as the cars take that tight turn to the left. You can see tall fir trees in the background making it look like we're on a remote mountain road. Let's get these cars opened up and I'll put them on the turntable for a closer look. First up is an older casting, the Ford Escort Rally, which debuted in 1998. This version of the Escort Rally is based on the R.S. Coswell version of the Escort that was produced from 1993 to 96 for the European market. The casting has rally-style lights in the front and a wing on the top rear. The metal body is painted white and, like all of the vehicles in this set, has great tampo work. Number 9 is painted on the side door and the Ford logo is on the rear fender. There's a black plastic base blue tinted windows and a black interior. The wheels are those light blue chrome 10 spokes. The second vehicle was by far the most difficult to find in stores, the 08 Lancer Evolution. It took me several months to track this one down. The Lancer first appeared in 2008 and the 08 card had this to say, complete with a radical rear wing, turbocharged engine, and a super all-wheel control technology, this evolutionary car is perfect for driving in all conditions. There's good news for fans of this casting. It's also in the 2020 mainline. This version is a bright metallic yellow with black and silver striping. A number five and the Yokohama logo appear on the sides. This car also has a black plastic base, and there's black interior and tinted windows. The designers went with Phil Rahman five-spoke wheels, and it has those chrome rims. Really great looking car. Next up is the Volkswagen Scirocco GT24 in lime green. This edition has white, blue, and black tampos with a number 24, the Volkswagen logo, and lots of sponsor logos on the side. There's a clear windshield and a black interior. You can see that big wing on the top rear. I really like the way those white 10 spoke rims jump out at you. Really matches well with the tampos. The 2008 debut card had this to say. With an oversized rear wing, wide body, and a big rear diffuser for stability, this hot hatchback was made for racing through the Black Forest. This is a really great addition of a vehicle that hasn't shown up since 2015. This casting has been way underused in my opinion. Here's a few things that I really like about this particular version. First thing is the paint choice. That turquoise looks really awesome on the corridor. I also like how that black base comes up and makes those fenders and how the fenders match the whole tampo scheme. Rally El Segundo logo, red, white, black stripes. They look awesome on the hood and the white painted roof and white five spokes just pop and are a really nice touch. The fifth car is a car that I'm very familiar with. My son has owned a couple of Ford Focuses, and believe me, they have a very passionate fan base. This is the 09 Ford Focus RS, which is an American car, but this particular version was developed and built in Germany. This edition has a metallic brownish orange, which unfortunately blends in a little too well with the card art. It doesn't really pop out like the car in the picture. The tampos do look great on it, though, with the Ford and RS logos on the side, and that black and yellow striping. It has a black plastic base and a black interior, which almost all of these cars do. It has a clear windshield and the Phil Rahman five spokes, which is appropriate because he's the designer of the particular casting. One thing of interest to note on these wheels, the rims in the front are yellow and the ones on the rear are white. The very last vehicle is the extremely popular Subaru WRX STI. Its popularity is in no small part due to its appearance in the Fast and Furious 7 film and the multiple Hot Wheels Fast and Furious releases it's had. This is a really well designed addition of this casting, a great glossy black with a metallic blue side and hood stripes. The placement of the sponsor tampo seems to be very well thought out and the hood in particular looks fantastic. The blue interior matches the striping and the gold chrome 10 spokes really jump out. 
It does have a gray base, but it's only really visible as the license plate. The Mini Cooper might be my favorite casting in this set, but the WRX is by far my favorite paint scheme. They did a beautiful job on this car. If you like this casting, you should definitely check out the 2012 first releases. They are absolutely stunning. So that's all I have for the 2019 Walmart exclusive back road rally set. It was real tough to find that Lancer and complete this. I'm so glad I finally did. Hope you enjoyed the show. I already let you know which are my favorites. Please let me know in the comments which is yours. I'd be really interested to see. Thanks for tuning in. Hope to see you next time. And until I do, enjoy the ride.